the caviar just right from Chasen's, Mr. Harper? Oh, that's great, Jim. Hey, you can't get richer than that. Oh, oh they're going to get a kick out of that. At least I hope so. You know, all my life I've been trying to make my folks proud of me. <laughs> Ever since I was little. I've always had this pipe dream about being a successful Hollywood writer, living in a big house with uh, a view from a hill, <laughs> and enough room so that all my relatives could come and stay if they wanted to. Well, that's come true. <laughs> of course, my father's gone now, but at last, my mother and my sister and her husband are coming to visit for the very first time. <laughs> that's them. That's got to be them. Uh, don't bother. I'll get it. I'll get it. <laughs> yeah! This is some hill you got here, Phil. Oh, my goodness, yes. I don't see how you can go up and down that thing every single day. Hey, uh, uh, where's Mama? Oh, she's out in the car. She'll be in in a minute. Oh, well, I'll go help her. Philip, don't interfere with this. I know how to handle Mama. Now, she'll come in just as soon as she realizes that nobody's going to go out there and coax her and cater to her. Well, what's wrong? She's just sitting out there sulking. Oh, isn't this luscious? <laughs> Once you get off that hill. Oh, you see, uh, you've got to go up if you want to get the view. You, see, you can see the ocean from here. See? Oh, see? my goodness. <laughs> Boy, I sure hate to have to go to the store and forget something and go all the way back. <laughs> Ed is forever doing that. <laughs> you know, I tell him that he'd lose his head if it wasn't packed on. Oh. Yeah, I'm a nut. <laughs> <laughs> Eunice. What is Mama sulking about? Oh, honey, she's just upset because Ed wouldn't stop and buy her one of them movie star maps. Well, I was willing to stop, as you'd have said, keep going. Could we sit down, do you suppose? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Look at this. Genuine imitation leather. <laughs> Real comfortable here, Phil. I'll just make myself comfortable. in that car like a bag of dirty laundry. <laughs> Mama. I told you she'd be in. <laughs> oh, it's so good to see. Let me look at you. That dress. Is that a new dress? Are you kidding? You think I'm going to wear a new dress and get it all wrinkled and sweaty driving clear across the country? The same old tacky dress I've had since the year one. I want to stop and change into a fresh one, but no, we can't stop and change. We can't stop and pick up a map of the movie stars' homes. We can't stop for nothing. I could have had a spasm been rolling around on the floor of the car. These two wouldn't stop. Well, Mom, the important thing is that you are here. Now you just sit right down there and you relax. After there's champagne and there's caviar, so you just dig right in. Huh? Oh, no, thank you. The only thing I want right now is an Alka-Seltzer. I've had gas for three days from eating this recent truck stop. <laughs> Uh, is this your movie script, Philip? Yes, it is. Could I look at it? Oh, sure. Oh, thank sure. you. It's a love story. Oh. It, it deals with the tangled lives of Queen Elizabeth and the Earl of Essex. You know what I admire the most about that Francis Ford Coppola? No, what? I admire the way he's so loyal to his family. You know what he did? Why, he put his very own sister into that movie, The Godfather. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you remember those expression lessons I used to take back home when we was kids from Miss Tudorball? Those expression lessons was a waste of good money. Well, for your information, Mama, Miss Tudorball told me that I had a very promising talent, and after all, I was in every one of her recitals. Well, you never had any words to say. That's because I didn't need them. I had good expressions, Mama. What Mrs. Cuteball said, and she always said that in the movies, it makes no difference. All you have to do is have good expressions. Ain't that right, Philip? Good expressions? <laughs> oh, 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 yes. Yes, Eunice, I, I would say that uh, movies are a visual medium, yes. See? <laughs> oh, this looks like a nice speech, Philip. Yeah. Lord Essex. Even though a queen belongs to her subjects, underneath her royal robes beats the heart of a woman, a fiery, passionate woman who yearns for the love of a strong man. <laughs> Lord Essex says, but your majesty, and Elizabeth says, Lord Essex, don't ever address me as your majesty again. True, I am a queen, but I am first and foremost a woman. 
a flesh and blood woman. Oh, my love. <laughs> Call me Elizabeth. 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 <laughs> I felt that. <laughs> Do you mind if I make a suggestion, Phil? Oh, no, no, no. Go right, go right ahead, Ed. Well, I'm no writer, but I think that thing needs pepping up a little bit. You know, like in the Three Stooges movie. Did you see that one the other night on Channel 12, 5 o'clock? Oh, uh, yes, yes, I will. I will try and squeeze something like that in, Ed. I will. Oh, good stuff. Good stuff. Perhaps me. Uh... <laughs> Memory. Misty watercolors, memory <laughs> of the way we were. <laughs> Philip, do you know where Lawrence Wealth lives? <laughs> I'd love to maybe just drive by his house, catch him mowing his lawn or something. <laughs> No, Mama, I don't, but I will. I will try to find out. I will. I told you two to stop and get me movie star, Mabby. No, nobody listens to Mama, me. Mama, don't put that record on again. I'm having a nice talk with Philip. And will you please get off of Philip's back and quit hinting that he flushed his whole career down the drain by putting a no talent like you in his movie? I am not hinting at anything of the sort. And I'd be very grateful if you'd quit belittling me, Mama, every time I open my mouth. I don't know much about the acting end of the business, Eunice. You see, I'm a writer. We He's know you're a writer, about... Philip. We know you're a writer. That's all you ever do is talk about your writing. And you throw it up in our faces all the time with your writing statues. <laughs> Boy, you never got belittled, did you? Even when we was kids, you'd come home from school and, and Philip would read one of them poems he'd written in English class that nobody could make head or tail out of, and everybody'd go, ooh and ah! <laughs> Daddy'd go out and buy him two Eskimo pies. <laughs> but the minute I come home from Miss Pewterball's expression class and try to show off some of my expressions to the family, that room would clear, wouldn't it? Like rats from a sinking ship. <laughs> I'd like to see a couple of your... Oh, shut up, man. <laughs> You're the whole reason I'm not in my proper station in life in the first place. If I hadn't married you, I'd have had time to develop my talent so that my baby brother wouldn't be ashamed to put me in that movie of his. Listen, everybody. Uh, I may have to go to a hotel for a couple of days because uh, we say I have a lot of revisions that I've got to do on this movie I'm writing, so if you need anything, you just ask my houseboy. What the hell this dude? <laughs> this is worse than that garbage at them greasy truck stops. Do you think all those truck drivers would eat at those truck stops if the food wasn't good? Well, maybe I'd think the food was good, too, if I was a truck driver. In fact, I may be gone for a couple of weeks. Would you listen to her? We only stopped at one of those truck stops. Every other time we stopped where she wanted to stop, when she wanted to stop, and wherever she wanted to stop. So if I don't get in touch with you before you go, have a good vacation. She, she. Who is she? The alley cat? I am your mother, and when you talk about me, that's what you call me, here. Philip would never use that tone of voice when he's talking about his mother, would you, Philip? <laughs> Where the hell is he? How do you like that? He took off without saying goodbye or turned green or anything. Well, I wouldn't worry about him, Ed. He never did have a sense of family. <laughs> well, he ain't gonna get to me. I'm gonna take a dip in that pool and cool off. Honey, that sounds like a good idea. Come on, Mama. Me, I'm gonna see if he's got any decent food. Oh, no, come on, Mama. We're gonna have fun, and I can't wait for you to see the matching bathing suits I got for Ed.